These trees right here in this ditch are called swamp willows. They were here this morning cutting some branches, hanging off the power wires. Here's the fresh wood, cut about an hour ago. So what I'm doing today, the most common question I get asked on my YouTube channel is, how do I get my wood for, to stop cracking? My wood spirit's cracking. How do I make it so my wood spirit does not crack or whatever carving you got will not crack? So I've just carved this out, okay? It's um, soaking wet wood. You do not get any wetter than this, all right? So let me put the cam. So you see the door here? There's a window. Look how fuzzy this stuff. It's just a nightmare to carve, but I did it for example. Here's a window here, a window here, and a door here. And I hold it out and it's a succulent plant holder. Okay, so there's one here. Let's see. There's one here and there's one right here. Okay, so I'm going to show an example of what I do. And this is just my opinion. How to make it so your wood carving doesn't crack in the front and it can crack in the back so you don't have to see the cracks and this isn't proof well I have kind of proven it but it's just my opinion that's basically it it's my opinion okay so this also applies for Dremel carvings too so window door window I'm gonna burn this if it will burn and I'll finish it up later so I want to show you guys what I did I put a slot down the back all the way to the bottom on each there so I got my chainsaw I found the center of the wood so you got your, your your top here and you got your growth rings I found the center I put my chainsaw bar into the pretend it's going in these slots in there to the center and I cut all the way down and I just kind of thought the center might be this way because this is going this way and that's going that way same with this one I found the center of the rings and I put this slit about that deep in there, all the way down, okay? So this has a better chance of doing this because when wood starts to dry, it pressurizes, right? Then that's how you get the cracks. If you have your center, I don't know whether there's a heart or whatever it's called. If you have your center ring in there, center of the tree, it will crack. Good chance it will crack. If you don't have the center of the tree and then you slice this log in half, without the center, the good chance it's gonna crack less. I know I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So those are in there. So now, instead of this front cracking, the better chance, that we're, I'm gonna prove it in this video. I don't care if I gotta finish this video in a week. I'm gonna let it dry out. Now we're gonna see if it cracks right here, right here where those slots are, all right? I'm gonna get the camera off the overhead and I'm gonna show you, well actually, not the overhead, the tripod. See that cut there? Also, when you do succulent holders, make sure you have drain holes. I got a drain hole carved in there with a spade bit. See that cut there? That's from the cut I did. But now, so I'm leaving, I left this solid, because it's only about that thick there. Left it solid to see if this cracks. I don't care if it takes two weeks, a week, a month. I'll finish this video to see if it cracks here and opens up. Because then you're releasing the pressure and it won't crack in the front. And it applies for Dremel carving too. I don't know how you, Maybe get put your log like, let's see here. Um, put your log so it's like this way, you know, around and get a saw and then saw it in the back till it reaches the center and that's good. Or you can use a jig saw or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to finish this off right now. Um, I'm going to burn it really good. I'm going to burn in that crack too. And there's a, might, a good chance that it might already open up in the back. And I'm going to turn that heater on in the back so it's pushing towards the cracks. Okay, so these slits here, one, two. Now, I did do a bit of burning in there because, well, I burnt so much on the front, I just wanted to keep it. I thought burning the back would be fair too. So I just painted this, burnt it, sanded it. Um, now we just got to sit and wait to see if these back cracks open up or if it starts cracking in the front here. It's wait time. Might be a month, might be a week, might be two days, might be one day. Okay, well, I want to finish this video. So this is just a quick carving just to demonstrate wet wood, you know, like this will might fade and it'll look like this wood here will look gray. It'll look a lot better once it does. But so it's not cracking. 
you know, I've burnt the whole inside with the torch all the way around. I've burnt up in here from the back. And you know, also I want to say those cuts where I did on the back, you know, this is a crotch piece of wood. So like the tree here, branch, branch. So I shouldn't have cut it all the way down each one. I should have just cut it like a Y and bam, who cares? But I will show you later on in the spring when this wood cracks, that it will crack right here and right where that other cut is in the back. And we'll see if the front cracks at all. So sorry I couldn't finish this video, but it's finished now. So <laughs> okay, bye, hi Liz.